New Congressman Jamal Bowman went on CNN to discuss Rahm Emanuel potentially being in the Biden administration, and something interesting happened. So far, uh, do you see anyone that's progressive enough for you? Well, first, let me say off the top, thank you so much for having me. Uh, when I hear names like Rahm Emanuel uh, being floated as part of Biden's cabinet, considering the fact that he covered up the murder of Laquan McDonald uh, in Chicago, considering the fact that he closed over 50 elementary schools and 30 mental health institutions, uh, it's incredibly alarming. And So uh, we, we lost the congressman elect there. Sorry about that. Uh, we'll try to bring him back at some other point. By the way, I have no idea if like they came back from the break and he was there again and they continued the conversation. I, I don't know if that happened. I have no idea if that happened. If that didn't happen, like if they didn't go to break, come back, and then they got the connection back, isn't like the default assumption that they actually cut him off because he was touching a topic that they didn't want him to touch? I mean, a lot of this confuses me because presumably they bought him on to talk about Rahm Emanuel, and they knew going into it he's going to talk about Rahm Emanuel. They also know he's a left congressperson. So he's going to say what any left congressperson would say about Rahm Emanuel and be like, this guy's terrible. But you bring him on, he starts saying that, and then you cut him off, and then you don't go back to him when you come back from break? Listen, I don't know. I don't know. You're going to have to tell me. You guys are going to have to tell me. You know, I don't know how we'll find out at this point, but I don't think they put this segment up. This is why we have, you know, just a Twitter Twitter video version of this. Um, I don't know, but I'll, I'll leave it up to you guys. I'll ask you guys. Do you think they cut him off because he was making a point that they didn't want him to make? And they want to protect Rahm Emanuel. Rahm Emanuel is the most corporate of the corporate Democrats. He's the biggest hack among the corporate Democrats. He thinks he's some sort of electoral genius. He's not. You know, Jamal Bowman was laying out some of his record there and really ripping him apart accurately. Um, did they actually cut him off because of his criticisms of Rahm Emanuel? Again, if they came back from break and they didn't bring Jamal back, then isn't that, like, very likely? Isn't that really likely? I don't know, man. Again, I'll I'll maintain an agnostic take on this. You know, I guess somebody could ask Jamal, hey, were you having internet problems? Because presumably, hell no. He'd be like, no, my internet was fine when they cut it off. If his internet was fine when they cut it off, do I need to pound the gavel? Do I need to pound the gavel? Are there certain criticisms of Rahm Emanuel that you're not allowed to make? You're not allowed to point out what he did with uh, Laquan McDonald? You're not allowed to do that? Or is it the school closings you're not allowed to point out? Well, I don't... This is actually one of the rare instances where I think the progressive pressure is going to work. I think it's going to work. Um, because it was, it was all of the progressives, which, by the way, it shows you that there's power in numbers. And there's power in, in relentless, direct messaging where all of the progressives in unison were like, hell no on Rahm Emanuel. So we might actually get him axed, but, but, here's the downside though. It could have been, it could have been a giant head fake from Team Biden where it's like, let's talk about the worst possible person and then we'll say, okay, you got us. We're not going to pick Rahm Emanuel. But then whoever the person is now that they do pick looks good in comparison, even though on their own merits, they'll also be terrible. So it could have been a giant head fake. It's like saying, oh, we'll pick Genghis Khan for Secretary of Defense. And then when they don't, it's like, okay, we didn't pick Genghis Khan. You guys are right. That goes too far. We picked Dick Cheney. And people be like, well, well, at least it wasn't Genghis Khan. No, 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 no. You got to evaluate on the merits of who they actually picked. And so if it's Dick Cheney, <laughs> then it's like, well, that's abysmal. He should be rotting in a prison cell at The Hague. So I don't know what happened with Jamal Bowman here. I hope they didn't cut him off because his criticisms were too on point of Rahm Emanuel. Um, but you never really know. It really was a weird thing, wasn't it? It cut off at a weird time, and then it seems like they didn't go back to him after the break. 
I don't know. We should probably get Jamal Bowman's opinion on it and see what he thinks happened.